It was my old math teacher who said, practice does not make perfect. Good practice makes perfect. He said this because the class was extremely hard and that without good practice, we would fail. He stressed the importance of the different applications used to get our answers and its intricacies. This has stuck with me ever since and helped me in my piano journey, which is why I would like to pass on this guidance. So hopefully you find this helpful. The short answer is, you must begin working on your mistakes, not honing your perfections. You could leave the video now with this guidance, but you are far less likely to implement this advice without properly understanding it first. Now, if you are trying to learn a song or perfect it, you may be running through it over and over for two hours a day, only inching towards perfection. Although, although this is good to get a general improvement, it is far more important to work on the biggest flaws of your song. You must see your mistakes, analyzing where you went wrong and how you can improve. The reason why some of us tend to hide away from our mistakes is because we want to be good. And admitting to our mistakes is like saying you aren't that good. It's almost a paradox in that sense. I'm not sure why we do this, but I believe it's our own ego getting in the way of our progress, but if you implement this form of learning, you will learn your pieces far faster. It can be humbling when you realize there is a single bar that sounds completely off and you must play it through it slowly. Doing it hands separately can also really help too because you can really focus in. You should also think very mechanically with your performances or improvisations or even technical exercises like skills as you find the answers to your flaws very quickly when your feelings are out of the way. When we practice, we can get extremely frustrated leading to a worse overall experience, which is why we must tell ourselves to relax and that this is only part of the process. If you trust yourself in the betterment of your abilities, you will improve. A good way to really home in on mistakes is to record yourself, as they can be really hard to pick up without focusing on them entirely. I will warn you that it can be difficult to do this. Most musicians don't really enjoy having to listen to themselves because all we hear are our own mistakes, even if they are quite minute. As long as you keep yourself open to your flaws rather than ignoring them, you will see improvement drastic improvement. Now we've reached the end of this video. I do hope you can take something away from this so you can apply it to your own piano or just instrumental journey. Um, if you're teaching yourself piano or any other instrument, please let me know if this helped you at all. I hope you gain some insight into how a traditional music student would practice. Thank you and have a good day.